So I will now start a new sheet. I will create here a new sheet. Okay, so it will be all blank. Let's now start from scratch to, to, to visualize if you understood everything. So uh, let's pick it from here, neighborhood. Just change it here to make it capitalized with the name. As a measure, <clears throat> let's use the price. money and use the colors by measure we can also pick it from here okay let's bring our map so I, I just came back to our previous page by navigating here okay and we can copy the values or the charts we can copy basically anything from here Oops. The, the map will be very uh, heavy for us right now, so let's reduce the number of maximum visible objects to 4,000 maybe. So going back here, name, options. So instead of 50,000, let's make it just 4,000. This will be incomplete. Okay. So do not forget that. Now let's copy this chart, bring it to our other sheet, paste it in here. We can remove this legend, okay? So uh, here in the map options, we have legend, so let's not show the legend. <clears throat> Let's also change the, the grid spacing here from the sheet. Let's make it narrow and resize the charts. <clears throat> Instead of doing it horizontally, let's make it vertical. Oops, the opposite. Let's make it horizontal. And let's also bring here the KPI. Okay, so copy. Let me delete this from here because it's slowing down too much. So copy it from here, go to the next sheet and paste it anywhere. Just make sure you're not, you, you don't have anything selected because, for example, if I select this chart and paste it, it will just replace the previous chart, okay? Uh, you can hit here to undo your last action. So this will be our KPI showing the number of listings. Let's change the format and also the color. So going here to the appearance, let's make it um, black. There we go. We can also add it right here. Okay, let's add a filter, which is a very important point in our dashboard. So let's bring this filter pane right here. And we, ha we can also uh, make it very large. So let's say that we want to, I thought it was loading, but it was not. Uh, so we can edit here, for example, the neighborhood. And from here, we can visualize as a list. And if we select, oops, we will see it as green. Click has a very important feature that uh, is about the, the green color and the filters, the gray and the dark gray. Okay, but this is more advanced, uh, a bit more advanced. But basically, green 
is the current selection. Light gray is the possible selection. So as you can see, I can also select another one from here. And dark gray is, uh, let's say, a, a, a not, not a possible selection. Okay. Um, and when does it happen? If you have, for example, um, if I have selected here, as we have only one data set in here, it's very hard to explain. But if we have a specific name from another, uh, let's pick it here, name, okay, from another uh, neighborhood. So we, we have here the possible selections in white. So let me pick one. So this specific bedroom is in Astoria. So it's green because it's my current selection. The, others one, the other ones, they became dark gray because I cannot select them. And these light grays, they, they are also possible selections. Okay. So if I select from here, as you can see, it's just changing in the map. Okay, so let's basically uh, stay with our neighborhood right here. <clears throat> and <clears throat> let's pick <clears throat> this chart as well. So Control C. Control V. Now let's add a container. A container is a very nice object from the, the options. And it's not a chart itself. It's basically a visual where you can add content to here. So if I drag and drop this chart in here, we have the same chart. Let me just re remove it and relocate it. We have it right here, but it will be in tabs, separated in tabs. Okay, so if I also bring this one into the container, dropping it right here, it, it has just created another tab. Okay, so let me just click here, done editing. We can now visualize both of them, just clicking on the tab. Okay. Clicking here on the container, we can go to the content option and we can change the label okay if you prefer but now we can also make it larger as we have already the other options um, if you want to edit the chart we, you can click with the right button and delete copy cut or do whatever you want here and also if you want to add the measures or dimensions click here in the edit properties and you can change the the chart just if it was just like it was outside the container okay let's now bring this other chart here number of listings by type and let's remove this room type here by clicking in the presentation dimension label remove this one we can change this chart uh, pie chart also to this donut format and also there are some styling options okay value labels and the colors are automatically here but let's just make it as by dimension using the first dimension and why is that because basically if we just leave it like it was it, there is no problem with that but when we use the tooltip we will see the room type right there as you can see and if we just change it actually it's basically the same thing but uh, it's better to use this option because if you change the dimension here it will automatically change as well so number of listings 
and make the colors persistent. It's better because if you click in the red one, for example, it would automatically change to blue because the, there would be only one selection. Uh, let's clear this one here. This is starting to get some shape, right? Let's put it up here. So the number of listings, I believe it fits better. If we do it like this, and this uh, this is very like you can customize it the way you want. I'm just showing you here some examples. Let's change this bar type, this bar chart, and make it vertical again. And we can do the same with the distribution plot. Okay, so let me click here. and change it to vertical yeah it, it, it's not very good for our visual right now so let's just make it like that and maybe last but not least let's add a table here to show it could be a table it could be a scatter plot anything that brings you insights and will help you to visualize. Okay, so let's make it the name or bring the neighborhood here, the, our master item. Average price. And count of IDs. Whoops, I have just changed it here. So let me click here and select count listings and as you might expect if we just select one neighborhood it will expand to the name right because it's a master item and in this case the listing will be only one okay because we are counting the, the IDs and each name has one unique ID okay in this case it doesn't make sense but let's just stay with that but basically we have now our visuals and we can explore uh, a lot of information from here. Always remember that uh, the number of points that we can visualize in here. Okay, so don't forget about that. Now let's go from the neighborhood. Uh, let's also add here the neighborhood group, which is another uh, filter that we have in our database. neighborhood group right here and I will just place it on the top of the other one and they will change place okay so now we have our neighborhood group let's let's apply some filters here to our selection so let's see only Manhattan So we can see that most of the listings from Manhattan are entire uh, listings, right? And we have a very high price in Tribeca, right here, and also 177 listing listings right here. Uh, we can select, for example, and visualize that in this region we have very expensive listings. So let's pick here using this radius let's go ahead and select from here and don't forget that we were looking at a limited number of points right let's ju just go back to make it more accurate so uh, let's see I will click here in this point okay and I can see that this is the, the neighborhood that we're talking about. So let me also select this. So we have here in our selection, the neighborhood. And now I will clear the, the point filter, okay? So we'll visualize 
the West Village filter. Okay, now we can see here that this one is a four thousand dollars listing, which is very different from the other ones. Let's just zoom in a little bit. And there we go. We, we have all the locations and points. We can visualize it right here in the table. We can see, let's just click here to see if it's a, so it's an entire home option. Okay, so let me cancel the selection. As you can see here, I have, I have uh, Manhattan selected. And inside Manhattan, we have this possible selection. So in, in light gray, it's also possible to select these uh, neighborhoods. But these dark gray options, they are not part of Manhattan. Okay, so basically that's the difference between the, the colors in the filters. Well, that's it for our first class. Uh, I hope you like it. And please explore your data sets and play with it. Always remember that you can apply selections, they will be here on the top, and you can clear them by clicking here or in the X, okay? Adding to editing the sheet again, always remember to fill, select the, char the charts from here, fill in with the measures and dimensions that you want, and, uh, well, uh, And don't forget to use the Click community, which is very active and very useful for, it, for everyone uh, that uses Click. And that's it for today. Thank you very much, and see you soon in the next class.